right, so now that we know what a line plot is, let's talk about what does it mean to analyze a line plot. So remember, analyze means that we're looking at it really closely to find out more information from it. So we can use data from the line plot to answer some questions. So this line plot in particular um, uh, shows the number of students in each class at a school. So there, each of these X's represents one class, okay? And these numbers down here represent the number of students in that class. So these uh, classes all have 20 students. These classes all have 21 students. And these classes all have, or only this one, <laughs> has 22 students, okay? So we, it's very important when you're analyzing, when you're looking closely at a line plot, same with a bar graph, same with a picture graph, same with a tally chart, that you know what each of these pieces of data, what does this represent? So that's where this information comes in handy. It shows the number of students in each class at a school. So these are these down here are the number of students. That's what this title up here is telling me. And each of these is one class, okay? So let's look. How many students are in most of the classes? So we're looking at the most frequent um, data, which is right here, 21. So this is the... Um, number that has the most X's, which means it's the most frequent, it's the most um, popular. So let's go ahead and we're gonna trace 21. Okay, so 21 students is the most common um, number of students for each class. So now we're gonna use the uh, data down here for this line plot uh, to answer these questions. So this line plot is the number of hats, okay? So these represent the number of hats. And I'm seeing in here students, students, students. So that's telling me that each of these X's represents one student. All right, so let's look. How many students have two hats? Well, I'm gonna look at the two on the line plot and I'm gonna count the number of X's in, uh, above that two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six students that have two hats. How many students have just one hat? Well, I'm gonna find the one on the line plot and I'm gonna count the X's. One, two, three. Three students have just one hat. Okay, how many students have three hats? Well, I'm gonna find the three on the line plot and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four students. Remember, it's super important that we know what our label is on our number. Is it, what is it, for hot dogs, for basketballs? Nope, it's for students because that's what each X represents. How many students have more than two hats? Oh, interesting, okay, so now they're asking more than two. Is two more than two? Nope. Is three more than two? Yep. Is four? Yep. Is five? Yep. So it's all of these right here. Let me put a little box around them. So it's everything after the two. So I'm counting the number of students after that two. All right, so let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven students have more than two hats. It does not include two. If it said two or more, then I would include the number of two because that would be two or more than two, okay? So think about how line plots, that we're looking at this chalk math down here. I want you to think about how are line plots the same or different than bar graphs or picture graphs? Think about that. How are they the same or different than bar graphs or picture graphs? All right. All right, so this next line plot is talking about the number of vegetables. Oh my goodness. It's talking about the number of vegetables, okay? So this is the students who like um, vegetables and this is how many vegetables that they like. So this would be how many students like five vegetables, okay? Let's look. So this first question says, which number has the most X's? Also known as the most students, because we know that that's what each X means. So I can see that it's this one. This one is the tallest. It has the most number of X's, and it has um, one, two, three, four, five, six X's, when the second most number is only five, which is on both of these. So which number has the most X's? Four. So four vegetables liked is the most popular. How many students like four vegetables? Well, we just counted. There are six students who like four vegetables. Which number has the fewest X's? Well, I can see that right here is zero. So there's one student who says he doesn't like any vegetables. That's silly. 
How many students like two vegetables? Let's look. Here's my two on the line plot. One, two, three students. Three students like two vegetables. How many students were surveyed in all? Mm, think about this for a second. How do you think we're going to figure out how many students that were surveyed? Well, we can look at how many X's there are all together. So I'm going to start here. Here's one. Here's one, two, three, four. So that's five total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There were 24 students surveyed in all. How many students like more than one vegetable? Okay, this is another example of exactly what we just talked about in that last question. More than one, so it's everything after one. Remember, this is a number line down here. So I know that everything after one on a number line is going to be bigger than one, more than one. So let's look, let's put a little box around what we're talking about here. All of these people, so two, three, four, and five are all bigger than one. Well, let's use a little math here because instead of having to count all of these, what if I just subtract this number from the total that I just found? So I have one, two, three, four, five that are not in what I'm talking about. So I'm going to subtract five from this total of 24, and that's going to tell me everything that I want to know. So what is 24 minus five? Well, let's use a strategy. What's 24? Let's get to the next 10. 24 minus what equals 20? 24 minus 4 equals 20. So how much more do I need to subtract to get to 5 altogether? Just 1. What's 20 minus 1? 19. 19 students like more than one vegetable. You also could have gotten that answer by just counting all of the x's in here. All right, so how many students do not like vegetables? Well, I could say that I'm probably going to be looking at um, this student down here that doesn't like any vegetables whatsoever. So I'm going to say just one, one student. All right, guys, thanks for watching.